Hey guys, so I have a really quick meat haul. I spent $160. Um, I go every first of the month just to get my meat so I don't have to be like struggling to come up with meals. Um, I also bought meat for my mom because um, money is tight for her right now because she works at a school and they're on summer break. So money is tight. So I decided to, you know, give her some stuff with how she always does for us. So um, I also got some vegetables and two things that were fruit. So these avocados, look how massive they are. They're not ready yet, so I would just leave them there. But I can eat avocado breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, <laughs> whatever. I want to see if I can make smoothies, like, you know, um, go and, like, buy fruits and stuff like that and start smoothing, making smoothies again for me and the girls. But these were, um, thank you. These were 99 cents a pound, so I grabbed that. And then I also grabbed calabaza. Calabaza is always good for, um, like, Spanish-style soup, like Cuban or whatever. But it's always good for that. Also with beans. And if you don't want it like that, you can, like, cut it in half if it's too big. And then put it in the oven really low like at 200 like I always do and then just drizzle some oil some salt a little bit of pepper and then when it's done grill up some onion and some garlic and and just put it on there and it glazes it amazing and that's a good snack and this was a dollar oh eight and then I got one onion because no one likes onion but me and I like to use it like on my chicken or on my steak or on anything like that so then we got some platanos these are the green ones and these how you make tostones and these are the the sweet ones and these are platanitos maduro so um these were the green ones were five for a dollar and the sweet ones were three for a dollar and then i also got they have papaya if you guys ever tried papaya before but they had a um, mame Fresh mame, and Josh loves this. Yes, Josh is American, but ever since we've been dating, he has fell in love with like the Spanish food and the Spanish culture. And um, I used to always make the like the frozen packets of the mame and get like ice cream and then a can of um, condensed milk and um, make like a good smoothie. But I seen that they had the fresh ones, so I'm going to um, put them aside because they're still hard. So I grabbed two, I forgot how much they were, but I just grabbed two. My mom also grabbed one because they're really good to snack on and make shakes. And then when my little cousin graduated um, in May, um, and my little brother as well. We went two different times to this um, Spanish, uh, Colombian restaurant. And they were serving these drinks. Um, my mom was like, this is amazing. My aunt, my uncle. And it's Guanabana. And it's a drink. And it's basically the juice, the Guanabana juice. And fresh, fresh juice. And with mixed with water. I mean, this, if you can get some of that. I don't know if the, that tropical splash is everywhere, but the Guanabana, oh my God, is amazing. Just shake it up because it's very concentrated and it's good. I mean, good, 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 good. All right, so let's move on. We got some chicken breast fillets and these were $3.25. I grabbed two and this one was $2.95. And then... um. You know, you can do anything with this chicken parmesan, whatever you want. I mean, I normally will marinate this whole thing and then use like six of them. And then the rest I save it for lunch or, you know, make extra or I don't know, or freeze it again. And then I also grabbed um, these chicken wings and these were six, uh, oh, 680. But I mean, look, look how big they are, like. They're really big, really big. Normally, I get the smaller ones. I bring more, but I just grabbed one, so that's good. Um, so we also got some chicken, the chicken legs, the quarters, quarts, whatever. 
I grabbed two, and this one was a dollar. No, this one's two oh six, and this one was two oh three. And then, like I said, I can make four of these. Um, you know, for Josh, my brother-in-law, myself, and then the girls. And then normally the girls can share one half, and this fills us up really good. You can grill them. You can um, put them in the oven like I do, because it's easier when everything is in the oven or the crock pot. And then a ground beef. The ground beef is um, 3.40 pounds, and then it was 507. And I divide this in three. And then I can also make hamburgers, meatballs, you know, taco, whatever you want to make. And then, you know, you have enough. I still have some ground beef. So that's why I only grabbed one. And then I also grabbed tilapia. Uh, it's the frozen tilapia fillets. And this was... Uh, seven dollars and fifteen cents and then I, I talked about the chicken nuggets I think if I didn't I'm sorry um this is the cut pork chops and you know there's one two three four five six seven there's seven in here so that's enough for my whole entire family and it was six fifty four and then the oxtail. Listen, I love oxtail. I mean, yeah, it's basically bone because this is all bone. And like on the sides, it's bone. But, you know, $16.35. Yes, it's expensive. But I enjoy this. And I don't make it every single time. I don't, I don't know. I just, it's, this is so good. That's why it's so pricey. I think this is like the priciest thing I got, I think. Yeah, I think. And then Josh on Sundays likes to grow out. That's just the thing that we do. So I got these T-bone steaks, and they were $9.82. They're pretty big. Look at that. Pretty big. And then I also grabbed, and those were $9.28. And I got these um, ribeye steaks as well. Look how big they are. And these were $13.09, and this will be like Josh, his brother, myself, and then I, I always cut half, you know, and then the girls can eat. And then I always, ugh, this is a Mac Daddy. I always get, you know, the pernil, like, you know, the pork shoulder. Um, I always get it because, like, I don't know, it's just a thing, and if I don't get it, Josh complains about it, so I just always get it, no matter what. And this was, it's 8.70 pounds, and I got it for 7.74, $7 and that was a decent, like, that's pretty big. And we have, we eat on it, like, I don't even know, like, we eat on it twice being like that, and then you can know you you can make um, nachos. You can make Cuban sandwiches if you have everything from it. There's so many different like tacos and quesadillas. I can just go on on what we use the leftover meat for. And then I also grabbed this big bag of rice. This was $7.99, and this is I think 20 pounds. Yeah, 20 pounds. Um, I still have some rice, so I will fill this up, and then whatever's left, I give it to my mom, but she said she didn't need any, so I grabbed that, and listen, I grew up with my mom and dad, and they've always told me that if you have rice and meat, you have a meal. You don't need vegetables, you don't need stuff like that, you know, your family's secure with rice and meat, and rice is an essential, I always buy that. Josh cares less for rice, but I grew up eating rice all the time, rice, beans, you know, and meat, so... And then the meat, um, the rice, the beans, what am I saying? The beans, I didn't get any beans there because I, I don't know, I just don't like the, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like their beans sometimes. They just try to rip you off on the beans. On the meat, I think they're amazing. We've gotten everybody hooked that we know. So then I have these uh, boneless pork chops. And this one... I, this we got three of those this one was a dot a dollar this one was 406 and it brings one two three four five so that's enough for us and then this one is a 425 and it brings a four and then this one is 387 and it brings four as well and i will these i don't have to worry about i can just freeze those how they are um what i will be freezing will be like dividing up 
will be this the ground beef I think that's like the only thing that I would be dividing up yeah because I didn't buy meat uh, beef stew or anything like that and then I also grabbed two of these uh, boneless pork chops you know these were $3.77 and this one was $3.96 so yeah guys this was like my small meat haul for the month and then you know I still have to go do groceries I'm just waiting for tomorrow when when Dixie puts out their new flyer because they have better deals and see if my coupons match those deals um I hope you guys enjoyed this one this is kind of different but yeah guys I'll see you in the next video